So now you could very, very realistically, if you wanted to, you could create some sort of system where I can grab that one. Or maybe I can just like some sort of superhero, just drag the actual wind turbines themselves around, but it becomes a bad user experience, which is why we have these dollhouse views such as this. Right. So um, now the, oh, the collider is a bit strange on that one. I can't actually get that close to it. Okay. Okay, let's, let's just see how close we can get. Okay, so this is our kind of dollhouse view, and these things always work really well. Again, they just look great in VR because um, things at small scale always look really, really nice in, in stereoscopic. So I don't know if you can kind of see that. Maybe I can kind of lean in a little bit. Is you've got a little bobbing boat there. There's no reason to have a bobbing boat scientifically, but it is. it just adds a little bit of kind of drama. What is useful, and hopefully you can kind of see there, is we've got a shader on it which shows the kind of the wind direction. So you can see the way the kind of the wind's blowing. So now what we have the ability to do, so imagine on this kind of table on the left, you could actually almost like place these kind of chess pieces down and it becomes a uh, kind of a simulation. And then with the data added on top, so if I placed a, a, a turbine in the middle, it might say ocean depth too great or too shallow. It's casting a shadow on this local village. This mountain's in the way. All of these sorts of things you can do. It's essentially like a little RPG video game, if we're completely honest, right? It's like a little Sim City or a strategy game. That's all we're doing. But plug that into live or simulated data, then you have some good use cases. So if we're just looking at live data, executives can go in, they can look at this and go, okay, that's my farm that we're going to propose or that we're doing now. Oh, this one on the left has got like, low energy output or that one on the right's got slightly high energy output you start to have this sort of like god view of um of a kind of a system which will be very difficult if you're looking at it at full scale because we could absolutely put huge numbers gigantic numbers off of all of these and sometimes we do do that um but it's very difficult to, when you're looking around to kind of see them all at once so you could do both